Hey everybody, we heard of Generous Blur. Cyrano 2.0 is a top four film. You gotta see this one. Hey everybody, I'm Jordan Lima from Lemur Studios and the Buffalo 40 Hour Film Project. I'm here with team Generous Blur and their film Cyrano 2.0, and it was one of our top four films. This is gonna be a great episode. I'm here with Ben Ritchie, Paul, Cap uh, Tosto and Anthony Vessio. And uh, this is an amazing film with amazing graphics and it won a lot of awards. We were nominated for six and we won four, four. or five. Yeah, lots of yeah. nominations too, uh, very yeah. exciting. But the real standout here was the graphics. That was just amazing. And uh, that's you. So <laughs> that was what, me. <laughs> yeah. uh, legendary kind of, legendary. How, what is your background in this to be able to pull that off? Uh, well, it's, I guess I started in, as an art major at UB, but then I proceeded to go to a film school and get my master's there. And I've always loved animation, so that was like another thing that just kind of popped in. And my last job before I worked at Roswell now was working as an ad agency and like making graphics and that stuff. So this was kind of like right in my wheelhouse to just keep it going. Very, very cool. And now you just said it, Roswell team here. Um, what is it like for, to be a professional crew making uh, more or less hospital material, uh, why would you be drawn to this? I've always wanted to make a film and we're always, you know, doing company work, corporate work in a sense, you know, not necessarily when you look at our stuff, you wouldn't say it's necessarily corporate work all the time, but I've never been able to take a script and put a vision to it like this, right? So I've always been attracted to this idea. Um, and then when it popped up and the schedules worked out, and um, Tony has done it before, he said how awesome it was and that I sucked this guy in. It's fun, it's a, it's a thing to do beyond just, you know, with your friends. So it's great to see people that want to do this beyond like, hey, let's just get together, actually using this to, to build themselves up. And I, I wish there was more 48 hour teams that, you know, went on to bigger projects. You know, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm trying to get everyone involved that I can, and I'm glad with the range that's in here. It's very cool. Well, specifically, it is your fault. And oh, I just oh. didn't want to say that on well, camera. you know, uh, I, obviously. I appreciate that. That's, that's, I appreciate you know, that. Seriously, though, what you've done with this has been amazing. Like, you know, it's what it deserves. So I'm glad to do it. It's a pleasure. Yeah. I'm glad to have you here today. The music in this is pretty awesome. And the people that do the music, uh, how did that go for you with the music? I don't know who introduced Justin to me. Is it Jay? Is it I think Jay? he was Jason? late to the game and man, I didn't know how that was going to work because I had never met him and he wasn't on set. But I talked to him on the phone and he's like, "No, I, I can do this. Send me send me some you know what you have for some of your takes so I can get a feel for it." And then he sent me back some tracks and he's like, "How does this fit?" I'm like, "I have no idea. We've shot one scene." You know, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. But what I didn't know is how brilliant he was because when we watched it without the music, it felt a certain way. And then we had picture lock, we sent it to him, and no joke, like 45 minutes, an hour later, we got back this perfectly timed out track awesome. that just carried it. And it was so expertly done. Like, he's a genius, and I don't know how he did it so fast. You I was just dropped it in at the end? We just, we just literally like dropped it in, awesome. and it just came to life. It was a whole nother level that it took it to. I mean, you can't do it without us. Yeah, sure, let's go. So the importance of sound design and music under a film like we had, I, I, you probably don't, he, think about it when you watch it, but if you watched it without the music, it just drops production levels so, you know, tenfold. Yeah, no, that's So a huge super thing. important. So Justin behind the scenes um, played a huge role in the success of this, I think. And so there's a lot of trust there, and I gotta go back to the graphics for a second, but how did you feel with all this trust on your shoulders to make <laughs> this work? Because look at this graphics set here. We also have uh, Taylor Martin here, your lead actress. How did it feel to have that weight on your shoulders? And did you ever wonder, wonder like, is this gonna render? Is this gonna work? Uh, there was always a fear of rendering in time. For sure, we had some close calls, but like that very first night, when we kind of settled on what it was, I knew, okay, this is gonna take a long time. It's gonna be very graphics heavy. So I started building graphics around midnight on Friday. And I worked until we were breaking at like 4 a.m. And then the first thing I did was I sat down while they were going over the script and started building more graphics, generic things, like anything I could think of that they might come up with. So I kind of was like, you know, we don't have much time, so I'm gonna run with it. And I was gonna make two separate things and then learned I don't have the time. So <laughs> I just kind of flip flop sides and changed some colors, but used the same built graphics that I had already created uh, 
which saved me a lot of time, but I think it was a different enough that like they looked like they are two different sites, but they really had a lot of similar elements. Well, it seems like the stars pretty much align on this one, and it's a great film. Uh, congratulations on just awesome performance and a great film coming out of this, and thank you for being here today. We're gonna put links in the description to this film, and do you have anything else you wanna share? Some awesome Roswell stuff, some really great stuff you've been making together? We work for uh, Roswell Park Conference Cancer Center, but a lot of the work we do, you wouldn't, you, you don't get that, it's not a hospital feel at all. Um, we're really proud of the Super Bowl commercial, and uh, just really proud of the stuff that, that comes out of our shop. This is really amazing. We're gonna have links to Sierra 2.0 and to Roswell Park social media so you can follow them. It's an incredible organization, world-class hospital, and world-class media behind it. So check out the next one, and thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.